it's just imperative that we step outside of the capitalist laws of motion and that's uh, that's what i what i like about daniel e Serres's proposal he starts the whole thing in a very honest kind of way i think he, he he states all right there has been this huge fucking silence by by marx and engels when it comes to describing how an alternative could actually look like you know they described the problems pretty nicely but they did not give any road to how we could actually as i said an alternative uh, uh, could could look like and he says okay what i am approaching here with my proposal is socialist laws of motion there's nothing beneath that you know if we if we do not aim for that then then we will always get into a position where where we will be like the second one after after the capitalist uh, laws of motion and that's i think something you can see uh, that that i would actually kind of criticize in the approach that Benjamin Bratton brought forward when it comes to the, the question of capitalist externalities, you know, whether or not one would be able to price a barrel of oil, for example, in a way where the future catastrophe of using this, this oil is already within the price, you know, And, and this is an interesting thought experiment, of course. Uh, uh, but I would say, or my intuition is that by, by giving it a, a price, a capitalist price, even one including future externalities, you would not actually come to a point where these things are handled in a fundamentally different logic. You know, they are not handled uh, more responsibly afterwards, I think. It, because it's not not stepping out of this uh, of this capital uh, capitalist uh, logic and the 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 risk that you try to price better is made tradable and then you open it up again to this whole sphere of financialization etc and uh, and then you transform it actually and this is highly problematic i think you transform this externality from something to be avoided into something to be traded And then you yeah. again have this whole problem of, okay, then, then it goes on and on and on and on again. So I do think, and that's what I like about the, the proposal uh, Saros uh, puts forward. He starts by saying, all right, we do need a fundamentally different type of uh, logic. A, uh, we need socialist laws of motion. And then he starts describing his proposal. And I'm not sure whether we can, I mean, this would take quite a while, <laughs> quite a while when we, if we, if we discuss his models. I mean, the, the basic uh, parameters are that, that he proposes uh, a, a, a general catalog, it's called in his proposal, where people could post their, um, the, the use values that they need and they would rank it within the use profile. That, uh, and by that, they would also communicate a certain weighing that is afterwards then implemented in, into the production process. And I mean, I guess this would go too far to try to explain the whole thing. And I'm not sure if I can do it nicely in this short uh, period of time. But I, what I want to say is that I do think, and it has quite some flaws as well, uh, the whole approach. I'm, I'm positive about that. And we discussed them in the two episodes that I did with Daniel Liseros. But I do think that it kind of succeeds in pointing towards a third way, <laughs> not a Tony Blair, Blair kind of third way, <laughs> but a different kind of third way that is not leading us towards you know the the assumptions that socialists could ev could have even better markets than capitalist ones and that's the position of Oscar Lange and stuff like that yeah. you know i i do absolutely not agree with this and it and it points towards the flaws of central planning and this is i mean you had Kakshat on i do i i don't believe in central planning to be honest i don't i don't think this is the way to go for many reasons not only the question of computability and um, this i don't know i might you know there are i just don't think this is the 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 level where we should engage with it and it's also always resulting in a, a central plan that then needs to be enacted and and if you have a central plan that that needs to be enacted upon the people <laughs> you are already within a huge problem and the way that Saros is approaching is is more of a 
bottom-up approach, I'd say. So it's more of a decentralized approach in this sense, but it also has centralized elements, uh, which leads me actually to a point where I would say my, I'm, I'm proposing the term distributed plant economy. 